Hello, Virgo. Welcome to Curious Fates Tarot. My name is Tess. I will be your guide today. If you're new here, welcome. Please check out the description box below if you have any questions about what it is that we do here and why it might be a little different than what you're used to. This is your Virgo extended reading. So I've already shuffled your decks and let's just get right into the overall energies that we have on the bottom. On the bottom of your first deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Bottom of the second deck, you have the Six of Cups reversed and the bottom of the third deck, the Six of Pentacles reversed. The feeling I'm getting immediately from this is like crawling your way back up. Really, that's, I don't know, I can't really explain it any other way than that. It's, it's sort of like slowly scratching your way back up to the top, maybe after a fall, or perhaps you were never at the top to begin with. After some failure, perhaps. And we have the Chariot and the Knight of Wands underneath this as well, and the Page of Cups. Um, which is a very bold energy. Um, but I want to say because of the Knight of Pentacles that we have here, it's not so much bold, quickly moving forward. It's, it's determined, slow, careful moving forward. Not even so much careful. It's like a grunting, like <laughs> grunting. Yes. I'm getting grunting. <laughs> Sometimes the things that I get are weird. Like old man heaves, right? When you pick yourself up out of a chair, you're like, Ugh! it's sort of like that, but just like a reaching forward, a constant reaching forward after something that's maybe come from something hard that happened in the past. Perhaps, uh, hmm. Okay, it's the memory of something that could have been the memory of something that could have been i'm not sure how to make sense of that though it's like i'm not getting lost i'm not i'm not getting i mean there's always loss in our lives but that's not what this is about this is about perhaps a dream that you had something that you wanted in the past but gave up on something that made you happy the idea of something that made that you wanted to do or that you wanted to have that made you happy that you walked away from it maybe because it was like immature or the fantasies of a child or the dreams of someone too young to realize the responsibility that goes into life as you get older how hard reality actually is and we have the six of pentacles reversed on the bottom of your third deck the empress reversed king of wands lots of wands and energy but again i'm not getting like fast movement it's more just like determined movement like very very determined but i don't feel a direction to be honest i don't and the six of wands reversed again I don't want to say failure. I, I want to say something all in the world again. Yeah, okay. A lot of similar cards here, Justice. Um, this is definitely about something that never was. It's not a failure. It's not something you tried to do and failed at. It's, it's an idea that failed to come into reality. I just made my camera mad. Let's turn off stuff. There we go. A fantasy that failed, uh, an idea, not fantasy is the wrong word, an idea that failed to come into the 3D, something from one of the other Ds that just floated around you for a while and, and you had the ability to grab it, but it left. Maybe you missed your opportunity to do that. Um, okay, can I get some supporting energies for Virgo's reading, please? Let's energies are surrounding this situation that Virgo might not be aware of. That's too many. I will take that one. The Herald. Small regrets and longing. This is something that you failed to, an energy that you failed to capture, an opportunity that you failed to 
take. All right. The herald, small regrets, longing. Nimble hands pluck at the strings of a lute. The fragrant smoke curls from beneath the wide brim of a hat. The herald exudes an easy sort of charm that draws others to them as they play their tune. But beneath that smile and easy laugh, there is an undercurrent of melancholy. They think back to the day that their life changed, to the flowers on the hillside, to the hares in the grass, the guard waiting in ambush. Would their fate have been different had they taken a different path back then? Or would it still have turned out the same way? It's easy to get caught up in the what ifs, but if you go forward holding on to all the little regrets, you're going to miss on the pleasures of the moment. Be your own herald of change and bring something new and more positive into your life. Don't let the force of your own feelings separate you from finding joy in the path you're now on. In its reversed, spite is a powerful motivator. In a moment when your motivation may be flagging, think of those who doubted you and use the satisfaction of proving them wrong to get where you need to go. Once you're there, don't forget to release those feelings again. Uh, the reversed could be, though that's not what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling is that what if, what could have been. But I also am getting a crawling. It's like grasping at the stones and dragging your body across on that path toward that path, picking your way through like, it's, um, okay. There were two, maybe more, maybe lots of paths in front of you. And some of them led this way and that way. And it's almost like you chose to go down this one path that took you maybe years to explore and go down but you were always thinking, what if I took that other path? And now it's almost like you're trying to find your way back to it, but you have no idea where it is. You just have an idea of where you felt that feeling before and you're trying to bring your way to it. I don't even think that you really know what that is. You just have like, oh, what was that message I was given? Like a memory of, I don't even know. Go back and look. I've that's gone. <laughs> I get messages and they fly away a lot of the time after a memory of something that never was. I'm pretty sure that's what I said. Something that could have been. And it was just this feeling, this this little spark. And I think you felt that feeling again or you remembered that feeling. And now you want that feeling back, but you're not sure you can't find the energy in around you anymore because it's not there. It's it's in the past and it's like you're determined to go find it. Let's get on to our reading here. And we will see where this story goes. Can I please get a few cards to start? Thank you. Six of Cups. Three of Swords. It's that memory. It's that feeling of nostalgia. That something that feels good. But the path you chose, you feel like it was the wrong one. You you grasped at the wrong energy. You took the wrong path. Though I don't know how true that is. I mean, you took the path that you needed to take at the time. But... You're remembering something. And I want to say it really is just a feeling. Maybe you have an idea of what this thing was, whether it was like a past relationship that never came to be, or that even you left, or this job offer that you didn't take, or it could very well have been something in the physical, but I think what it is that you're really hung on right now is the feeling that that thing gave you, or the feeling that a certain idea of something that could be is haunting you almost. But I also feel like it came out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm just going off cards because I'm getting a ton of stuff just like rushing at me right now. I think you'd completely forgotten about this thing. Uh, I'm really getting the feeling that you had completely forgotten about it and you'd moved on and it was whatever and you were good and then suddenly out of nowhere pops this feeling again and it's like a shock to the system i'm not getting this in the cards at all i don't have shock to the system anywhere in the cards i'm just feeling it in my gut that it's like oh where'd this where i, I recognize you 
And it's like realizing in a moment just how much you're missing. And suddenly everything around you that seemed fine, suddenly it all seems like not good enough. This isn't going to do for you anymore. And I am, oh, I just got overcome with emotion. <sighs> okay, this is much more serious than I thought. Much more serious than I thought. This isn't just like some, darn, I wish I should have done that. This is, these aren't small regrets. Like, this is not a small regret. I mean, you might have small, okay, no, you do have small regrets. Okay, sorry. You have small regrets and you don't regret anything that's happened in your life, but you are just overcome with sadness. It's not, you're not crawling towards this thing. You're, it's like you're walking around in the daylight and then this thing uncovers your eyes, takes the glasses off your eyes and you realize that you're in the dark. Just in a split second, you have this memory and you realize that, oh, none of this is real. I'm sad. I'm still, I'm hanging around in the dark and you're not crawling yourself towards a goal or towards something in particular. You're climbing out of the shadows. You're climbing out of the darkness. You're, you're going up stair by stair out of the pit that you just found yourself in like this and it's all in here it's all mental and don't get me wrong the things that are around you they're not good <laughs> but before this this memory of this feeling before that happened you you were good you were okay you were fine with it it was life and suddenly your heart is just shattered. It's almost like the glass breaking. That's what the seven of cups reversed is, is like you've taken your beer goggles off of life. Suddenly everything's clear, but that's like a, a re it's a really rough energy here. A really rough energy. I'm going to clarify uh, the spirit. Do I need to? I will. There's only three cards on my table. It feels wrong. Can I please clarify the six? Something that you moved away from long ago. Given up on. You forgot. No, you forgot about it. You forgot about it. You moved away from it, but then you forgot about it. You forgot what that even felt like. So only a few people are going to relate to this, but when you have children, and you go into labor. It's an incredibly painful experience. I don't think anyone's going to argue about that. But when it's done and you're holding that baby in your hands and you go on with life like that pain of that moment, that feeling, what it felt like in that moment, that is gone. And I mean, like, that's a biological thing. Women have hormones that keep them from creating the pain memory, as far as I know, that might be bullshit. Actually, I don't, I've never actually researched that, but you don't remember it. It's like, I can remember sitting there like screaming for 26 hours, but the feeling itself, how that felt like that's not in my memory banks. So when you go in for the next kid, <laughs> he comes back and you're like, oh, oh, right. That's why at this moment, I swore I would never do this again. But it was just like, like, that's a negative example of what I'm talking about. But what this is, is like, you felt that you moved away from it. And then it's like, you, you didn't remember your, your body, your brain, your spirit didn't create the memory of that feeling for you to reflect on and continue to nurture to strive towards. Cause it was like, why would you strive towards something that you don't even, that isn't even in the bank. And this thing that came about was like a shock to the system and be like, Oh, Oh yeah. I've had this feeling before and now you can't forget it. 
now you won't be able to forget it because it's there and it's just dimmed everything else around you. Oh, I didn't switch my camera. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Can I see this three of swords, please? This was... Yeah, I'll leave it at dimmed everything around you. That's really what it did. Mm -hmm. You? I wasn't expecting you. And now you want it. <laughs> you realize that absolutely everything else, everything else pales in comparison to this feeling. And now you're in the dark. The sun has gone down and your ability to come out of this unscathed is going to rely on your ability to climb back out of the darkness. But really, like, what are you going to do once you get there? Like, that's just a question that I'm, maybe it's a question you're asking yourself. But this is really strong in my head. What are you going to do when you get there? Once you crawl out of the darkness, what are you going to do? once you reach the top, once you reach the sunlight again. Oh. Everything can go back to the way it was. And once you get up there, like, are you hoping that this memory goes away again? That things can go back to just the way they were, where everything felt okay? Why am I getting so emotional with this reading? Like, it seems like such a small thing. A memory of a feeling seems like a really small thing. But this thing, this thing has changed your life. It has changed you. It has changed where you could go in the future. I'm, I'm, sh I'm really shocked by the emotion of this. I am. It's almost like coming up on me like a shock. <laughs> I think I'm feeling what you felt when you felt this memory again, this thing. Like, I don't know if you had someone come back into your life from the past or if you just were reminded of something that you wanted to do when you were a kid. This can work out in a million different ways for a million different Virgos, but it is like <sighs> paradigm shifting. It is huge. Who knew that something so small could make such a big impact, honestly? But ask yourself, what are you do when you're gonna when you get to the top? Are you gonna hold on? Was this idea, this energy that was around you, this feeling, was that an opportunity that you missed? Okay, I'm getting sorry, I'm just like being flooded with things right now. Like part of me wants to not even use the cards today. Um, I got that maybe for someone, maybe for all of you love it's a feeling of love and warmth and comfort and something calm i think for some of you you've been in situations for a long time where you've been just doing maybe out of duty out of responsibility just pushing forward because you you have to and that's just the way it is and this little memory this little memory is what it felt like oh my god i'm getting so emotional what it felt like to have your heart open and truly feel, feel love, feel accepted, feel passion. I'm getting that. We had a lot of wands. I want to say passion. And now that you feel what it was like to have your heart opened again and to remember that feeling, can you just go on <laughs> living life? I want to say responsibly, like, through duty rather than passion and love. Can you do that? So that's why I'm being asked, what are you going to do when you get there? Are you going to close your heart back off and go on with the way things are because you have to find something that like your Virgos, <laughs> you're going to plan, you plan ahead and you're going to find the logical thing to do that makes sense and you're going to be really cautious about it. And you're going to make sure that everyone, all the pieces are in order before you move forward. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm a Leo Virgo cusper. I understand where you're coming from. But it's almost like this is a gift. This is a gift to you. Like, 
I want to say follow your heart as cheesy as that sounds, but I'm not going to give advice yet because I'm not getting that. I'm really just feeling the feeling and it's definitely about something you're passionate about. Can I see the seven, please? This might be a long video just because I'm chatting so much. Thank you. What have I done? I just got, what have I done? Oh, can I see another one? What have I done? I got very, very, very clearly, what have I done? And I'm feeling like it's like a be careful what you wish for energy. Like you asked for something and you got it. <laughs> and this is unrelated to this. Like maybe you asked for the logical thing. You asked for the thing that you thought would bring you happiness. And then that blinder was ripped off you. Those glasses were ripped off you and you realized, oh, I've built an entire life based off of a foundation that isn't nearly as strong as I thought it was. It might be like physically strong. You might have built good relationships and have a good job and be doing everything right. But once your heart was opened again, you realize that my heart's not in this. So it just makes everything that you've built seem meaningless almost because in order to continue on those things, you would have to give up your heart. Oh. You'd have to continue on with sheer willpower and forget your holy crap. I am overcome with so much emotion right now. I'm sorry. I have not done this in a long time. <laughs> and why this one is getting to me so much. Like it seems, it seems to me, oh, that's what it is. Oh, I just got confirmation. It's like sitting down. Oh shit. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's like sitting down one day and you're just doing something, washing the dishes. <sighs> Sorry, this is really getting to me. And you are just doing something so mundane, just living life. And suddenly you have this epiphany. Like it happens right there. That's the moment you realize it. Virgo, who are you? Who am I talking to? In that tiny moment, your perspective on everything changes and you realize that your heart's not in anything. I just got some cards. Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands. That's what this feeling is. That's what happened to you. <laughs> your heart was open and your passion was open. And you came to this realization that like, where is this in my life? I've been living my life without it and you want it. All right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Can we expand this story, please? Whew. Hangman reverse. Now you're stuck here. So you've built this whole life for yourself. And it's just. <sighs> okay. okay. Wow. We've got the hangman reverse, the six of cups reverse and the four of swords reverse. I don't even think you're cons that's why I was getting that question. What are you going to do when you get there? Because I don't even think you're considering, considering having this thing, listening to this, this call from inside your heart. You're like, I'm it's too late for that. They've built this life. If I follow my passions, uh, everything goes to hell. <laughs> Just because it feels good doesn't mean 
it's right. So you're going to stay where you are. You're not even humoring this at all. You're not. You're just wishing for it. It's just a memory at this point. It's like you've had that epiphany doing the dishes or sitting reading a book and you realized it and you felt it and you went, oh, oh, that feeling. And then you put the dishes away and you went to bed and just are trying to forget about it again. And feeling resistance, 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 resistance to these thoughts. This doesn't work. <laughs> you want to step forth towards this thing. But right now you're just trying to get out of the dark. This memory put you in the dark. It, it made you realize that you have been buried in a deep, dark pit for a very long time. And you're just trying to get out of it. But once you get out of it, I don't see anything changing. This was an offer. Is it an offer of love? This was a gift to help you move on because you haven't been moving on. You haven't moved on. Um, I think maybe there's, I don't know, I'm getting kind of like a married energy. You might not be married or like within a committed relationship that's just been very stagnant. It's not necessarily healthy. Maybe you're in a really terrible job, <laughs> but you're just there because it's like, whatever, this, this pays the bills or we've got investments together or all sorts of stuff. but you've been stuck there for a long time. And this was a gift to help you move on. I want to say it was the memory of a person. You remembered a person because you've had a, you've had a block around this person, whoever it was, this King of Cups. I think this was a relationship from the past, a relationship that ended. It was either the memory of this person made you remember how you felt, or maybe they came back into your life and made you remember how you felt with them. But that doesn't necessarily mean you want them. Four of Swords reversed on the King of Cups. It's just there was a block over your heart after this person left your life, whoever it was. It doesn't, ne it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. But something, someone left. They weren't in your life anymore. And in order to protect yourself, you just put a wall around that emotion. And you continued on without feeling it. You got into a new relationship that was practical, though you didn't feel the same love. But it didn't matter because there was a wall around that. You were never going to feel it anyway. You didn't have to. You didn't have to worry about that. Maybe there was a a job you left that you really liked and this one pays the bills. So that's all that matters. I don't have to like it or some dream or passion or a friend or anything, that memory of that feeling could have been, it's very possible. This was someone that you, that you wanted to love. You wanted to have a relationship with, but it never came to anything. Cause so I got that a memory of something that never was. Or could have been. I don't even remember at all now. But this was a gift to get you moving. Moving where? What direction? Eight of Swords reversed. Is that Eight of Swords? Yes. Sorry. The Swords and the Wands look so similar in this one. But the Wands is like lady with things through her face. Like a corpse or something. Sorry. Anyway. Eight of Wands reversed. You were trapped in a cage. You trapped yourself in a mental cage and you didn't even know it. It was almost like you were in like a prison, but you let yourself think that it was the Ramada Inn or something. I don't know. I don't know hotel names. <laughs> it was some fancy resort. 
But really, when you opened your eyes, you realized, oh shit, I'm in prison. So this was to help you get out of that prison, at least mentally. And I think physically you are moving out of the prison, whatever it is that you're in now, you're making plans to leave or you've left and you've left it behind. However, I don't see you moving forward with that feeling. It's like you opened it up and you let it free and now you hope it just leaves you because if it doesn't leave you, then how do you go on? I'm not getting this from the cards, but I'm really getting the feeling of like, if I follow this feeling, I will never reach the goal. I will never find the thing that satisfies it because it's not a feeling of love and passion. It's a feeling of longing for love and passion and connection. And you're convinced that it doesn't exist. Virgo. And it's never coming. That it'll always, oh, Jesus. That it will always remain a longing. It's like an unreachable goal. Sorry. Virgo, the Virgo I'm talking to you. The feeling I am getting from them. The Virgo I'm talking to is someone who's so lonely. Sorry. Oh, I hate crying on YouTube. Sorry. This person's so lonely and it's not because they're alone. I can get through this. <laughs> it's because this feeling, this memory is of a feeling of being, oh shit. Okay. Damn it. I might not even post this. This is intense. It's a feeling of being so connected to someone that you know just deep down on a really soul level. And I'm not saying this is right, but this is how you feel that you will never connect with someone that way ever again. This is like extreme, extreme, extreme loss, but it's not even that I've, I feel that you were ever with this person. You could have been, but it's just this connection. Okay, can we get some advice? Can I get another one, please? What was that? Ah, okay. Queen of Cups reversed, Queen of Pentacles. Magician. Sun. Moon. <sighs> Emperor reversed. King of Cups. Ace of Wands. Eight of Cups. Nine of Wands. And the Lovers. Um, <sighs> it's time to release some of the control that you are exerting over yourself, over your heart, because your natural inclinations to control and study and move forward cautiously have become twisted a bit. They're no longer making, you're no longer on your own side. I think, I think you think you are, but it's anxiety. You're scared. 
you feel unstable and that's why you feel like you need to put a wall around your heart the king of cups he he understands what his heart's trying to tell him he includes that in all his decision making and you're trying to exclude your own heart because it feels nuts i think you haven't felt it for a very long time so you've kept it in this cage so now it's kind of out of control it's like zipping around the room because it's been had all this pent-up energy so long and you don't know what to do with any of these feelings how to incorporate them or integrate them into your life what to do with it so i ask you again when you crawl out of this hole what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do when you get there? When you overcome this darkness that has enveloped you for a time, what are you going to do when you get there? Because your heart's calling to you. You can't block out a part of yourself. You have to integrate. You have to integrate all those aspects of yourself and listen, truly listen to what your intuition is trying to tell you. Because that part of you, that desire, that feeling, that is a message that is a very strong message that i feel like you're trying to ignore perhaps it just confuses you perhaps accepting that this is something to include in your life is also accepting failure the what have i done or maybe i think it's possible for some of you when this feeling this emotion was unleashed um it got out of hand and it wreaked some havoc maybe you like left your husband or your wife or did something that you might regret a little bit or wonder if that was the right choice i'm not sure i'm not getting that very strongly we all have aspects of ourselves that are dark <laughs> scary wild um wild i really want to say that they burn bright and that can terrify us but if we try to repress these things a they become monsters and b we don't get to live life to the full to our full potential we don't get to experience the fullness of life unless we integrate those things unless we truly understand ourselves. Um, so I want to say you have the courage to do it, but I think you're wondering if you have the courage to do it. I just got, is it a sign that I'm broken? Am I broken? Like, is this, are you wondering if this, the fact that you want this thing, is a sign that you're broken? Is this thing that you want, do you think it's not good for you? I don't, I'm not really sure how to incorporate that, but that's somebody's question. Is it cause I'm broken? Um, no, <laughs> you're not broken. But if you look deep enough into your own heart, you will find the answers that you're looking for. You don't need to look elsewhere we don't need to abandon ourselves all the answers that we need are right within us the moon all the tools that we need to move forward and find success are within us i honestly think you just need to be more gentle with yourself here um it's okay to take some time to grieve as we change as we go through transitions like this like that's okay <laughs> be gentle with yourself give it time just give it some time when you're ready to take that leap you will but go forward in a way that doesn't forget this thing it wouldn't be here for you if it wasn't supposed to be there 
How can love and passion and warmth and comfort and connection with another human being, how can that be a symptom of your shadow? It's not. It's a peek at the sun because you've been stuck in the shadows and you didn't even realize it. I think it's also possible, like the Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands can also very much be like a, um, a temptation energy. And I am getting that a bit here. So perhaps someone has come into your life from the past and you're like, oh, my hair looks crazy. Tempted to run away with them or give yourself to them or whatever. Now, that's just sort of an aside because the feeling that comes with that, this feeling of connection and belonging and love and passion, like that is a real feeling inside you and it hit you so hard because you haven't been feeling it. You've blocked that, those emotions off to yourself. So if someone's come along and ignited them, though I don't think that's true for everybody, it might be true just for like one or two people, then I would, I would suggest being cautious with jumping into that situation. Um, just I'm saying this because of the what have I done that I got earlier? What have I done? And the am I broken? It's possible that when you felt those feelings, you did something rash that you regret. That is very possible. Um, it's not the, the emotions fault. The emotion is a sign. It's a the Herald also is like omens. For me, it's like the card that tells you something's about to happen um or like like hello pay attention to this thing because the emotions that were ignited in you aren't the problem they're pointing to a problem and the action that you take around those emotions that may have consequences it may have not may not have consequences depends what the action is the action is not the emotion Emotions are only bad when we act on those emotions in inappropriate ways. Okay. But the emotion is not bad. The emotion is just a signal that there's something going on within you, within your body, within your soul. So pay attention to those things. That's just a little aside. Um, integrate that part of yourself going forward, please. Um, Ah, oh, I've made a big mess. Let's just be messy, get a different deck of cards, and let's get an outcome. Huh? Can I get another one, please? Just a maybe? Just a maybe. <laughs> another maybe. Okay. All right. Um, you can look at these. I think it's probably more accurate if it's like this, though it doesn't matter because it's all up in the air. It's, it's sort of a crossroads here at this point um, because it's really 50-50 on which way this could go. I don't know. If you integrate all of yourself and become whole this this card to me is like filling your own cup becoming self-fulfilled but also and also like yeah lots of meanings however right now the only two that matter are becoming self-fulfilled and becoming whole and when you have the lovers and the ace of cups together it's very much integrating all aspects of yourself shadow earth, fire, water, air, all those energies, just making them one. It's hard to get all the things you want in life and reach your full potential when only part of you is going along for the ride. Uh, all of you should go along for the ride. That's how we start. Ooh, noisy trucks. 
That's how we start the journey of self-fulfillment, of fulfillment at all, is by starting with all of us, a whole person, making sure that we're whole, we're not broken, we are healed, and then we can go on. Um, and whether if you're able to do that, then you have hope for a very happy, fulfilling future filled with love and passion and connection. That's what this is. The card of like true connection with other human beings and your community and yourself and happiness and passion and love built on a stable foundation with happy people, stable, healthy people. Um, so if you follow your heart and you include your heart in that situation, in this, in this situation, then have faith that everything will work out just fine. Or right now you're scared. You're scared of your heart. You're very scared of following your heart. I think because your heart has let you down in the past many, many times before, maybe of following that passion and that love. But you know what? You can follow passion and love all you want to even connection. But if there's another part of you missing when you get it, you're not going to be able to keep it. And it's going to end up hurting you because you're not whole. And maybe that this path that you needed to take was learning how to become whole. And that's why you went off on this other path and you left this thing behind that maybe you're trying to get back to now is because you needed to learn those lessons. You needed to learn how to take care of yourself physically. You needed to learn how to take care of yourself spiritually, mentally, how to take care of your brain, how to do all those things, how to protect yourself from people who would take advantage of you. Once you really open your heart up and you, that's the last piece I feel that's missing. Maybe not, maybe you're missing lots of pieces. I have no idea, but integrate those things and have faith that everything's going to work out. Okay. I'm going to get you an Oracle. All right, let's shuffle this first. Yes, no, don't no. drop things a lot. Day and night. This is perfect for you. <laughs> this is exactly what you're doing. I said you're crawling out of the darkness to get back to the sunlight, and that's what this card is. Number one uncertainty, fear, worries, decisions to be made, follow your instincts. The girl we see on this card is holding the sun in her hands while the moon is at her back. She looks uncertain as if she has a question in mind, but does not know the answer. What is she thinking about? Is she afraid of the answer or the inward process to find it? Many of us struggle with making decisions, but where there is shadow, there is also light. After a dark night, there is always the light of the morning sun, warming the path we have chosen. This card reminds us that we already hold all the answers in our hands. We should trust our inner judgment and know we will be able to handle any situation. To get through, to find answers, to find answers of who we are, where we're going, what we're doing. <laughs> to, who we are is probably the most important one. We must first take a journey through that the darkest parts of ourselves. And I feel like you're making your way to the sunlight through the darkness. You're, you're headed there. Now this epiphany was sort of like seeing the light and illuminating. No, the opposite. What I said, realizing that the light you're in isn't actually light. It is darkness and you'll find your way to real true light. Does that make sense? Probably not. I don't know. Thank you so much, Virgo, for joining me. This was a an emotional ride for me today. Um, you'll do great, okay? And until next time, bye.